Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So today's video is a very special video for me because today I'm going to recreate my own traditional Bengali bridal makeup and I'm also going to share with you this uh, bindi design. If you do not know, I did my own bridal makeup and this was the exact same look I came up with. And I decided to recreate this look for you all. I'm also going to uh, share with you some photos from my wedding album. And before starting, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. And please help my channel to grow even more. Also share this video with your friends and family. Let them know about my channel. Please do so. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm taking this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade in black brown. And I'm just drawing the borders first. Then I'll be filling it in using smaller strokes. I'm going to uh, make my brows really dark and bold. Because in marriage, there will be flash photography. And in flash photography, your brows tend to look really lighter than usual. Now I'm just combing my brows uh, so that there is no excess product. Now I'm taking this uh, Milani uh, concealer and I'm going to uh, clean up the borders of my brows first uh, so that my brows look well shaped and defined and I'm also going to apply the same concealer on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadows now the products that I'm using in this video are not the same product that I used on my wedding uh, if you want to know my bridal kit then click on the link over there to reach that video on that video I shared with you my bridal kit and the products that i used on my wedding now i'm just taking this varth and doris loose powder and setting my entire eyelid and there is a picture from my wedding album now i have hooded eyes and my eyes were wide open so you cannot really see my eye makeup but to trust me i'm going to recreate the exact look that i did for my wedding and for that first i'm taking this uh, shade called um, Running Lid from my Makeup Revolution Sofix Extra Spice Palette and I'm just applying it as my transition color and the brush that I'm using is from Puna Store. Now I'm taking uh, Cheesecake, uh, yes this is Cheesecake from the same palette and I'm just applying it over the first color uh, to have a nice gradation and the brush is again from Puna Store. Then I'm taking 21 which is a pinkish red color and I'm just applying it uh, slightly above my crease because I have hooded eyes. If you do not have hooded eyes then apply the color directly onto your crease and the brush that I'm using is a crease brush, crease, crease brush from Wet n Wild. Then I'm just blending everything out with a clean blending brush. This brush is again from Puna Store. I'm taking Enchanted which is a dark brown color from the same palette and I'm going to apply it on my outer V area. Now there is a reason why I'm applying a, a brown shade instead of a black shade first because black shade sometimes um, can be a little bit patchy but if you apply a brown shade underneath it will look just fine. I'm taking this uh, black shade from my Makeup Revolution Reloaded Velvet Rose Palette and with this pencil brush I'm just applying it on my outer V area and I'm also dragging the color in a bit through my crease. Now I'm taking this uh, shimmery gold color from the same palette and I'm just applying it all over on my eyelid. Now uh, if you do not know, red, black and golden this is the classic combination for a Bengali bridal look. Now I'm uh, applying the same brown color between the golden color and the black color to have a nice gradation. Now I'm taking 21 again and I'm just applying it on the borders uh, to make the red stand out even more. Now an Indian bridal look is never complete without glitter right for that i'm using this revlon photo ready eye art in desert dazzle and i'm just applying it over the golden eyeshadow on my wedding i applied a uh, liquid glitter and i think this was from the brand called sego like or sego like something now i'm taking this nyx photo loving primer and i'm just priming my face i already moisturized my face about half an hour ago if you are looking for a good primer for your wedding this can be a great option this blurs out your face fills in all those pores and this just makes your makeup long lasting now i'm just color correcting my face for that i'm using this illegal orange corrector and i'm just applying it 
uh, around my mouth because I have hyperpigmentation over there underneath my eyes uh, because I have dark circles and I'm just blending it out using my finger if you are using this color corrector try to blend it with your finger this way uh, it becomes a bit lighter now for my foundation I'm using this Maybelline Superstay foundation in 220 and I'm just buffing it in using the same damp beauty sponge from Real Techniques and do not forget your neck always apply the foundation on your neck and also blend it on your hairline otherwise it won't look natural for highlighting and for concealing I'm using the same Milani concealer and I'm just applying it underneath my eyes in a bigger triangular shape uh, on the center of my forehead down the bridge of my nose cupid bow chin and the sides of my mouth and also just under it I'm going to place my contour next and I'm just blending everything out again using the same damp beauty sponge Now for cream contouring, I'm using this wet and wild contour stick in Where is Walnut and I'm just cream contouring my face. If you're doing your bridal makeup, I will highly suggest you to do a cream contour because uh, it just um, makes your contour stand out even more and it will be long lasting. And you know that real right? Like my hollows of my cheeks, forehead, jawline, nose and again I'm just blending everything out using the same damp beauty sponge. Always blend out your um, jawline in a downward uh, direction and your cheek contour and your forehead contour in an upward direction. Now I'm just setting my under eyes and my smile lines uh, using the same Bharat and Dolly's loose powder. And for that I'm using the same damp beauty sponge. And for my entire face I'm using this Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Placed Powder in 001 Transparent and with this powder puff I'm just setting my entire face and neck. And I'm just baking my under eyes and my smile lines for that I'm applying tons of loose powder because I get creases on those areas pretty quickly and if I get any fallouts due to the eyeshadows it will be easier to dust it off later without spoiling my base. Oh. And I'm just um, outlining my lower lash line uh, with uh, my uh, wet and wild mega liner in black. This step uh, is a bit difficult and I did the same on my wedding as well. And I'm taking this uh, Maybelline um, gel eyeliner and I'm just applying it on my waterline and I'm also going to tie line with it. I will highly suggest you to use a gel eyeliner instead of your regular kajal because regular kajal um, can fade away pretty quickly but a gel eyeliner especially this one it stays all day long. And I'm applying 21 um, on the borders of the eyeliner. I'm also applying the glitter on my um, uh, inner corner to have that pop. And I'm going to create a nice bold wing with my wet and wild mega liner in black. I'm also elongating my um, inner corners a bit. This will make my eyes look wider and bigger. Now I'm just highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners with my Makeup Evolution Pro Illuminate Highlighter. I'm not going to apply falsies now because I'm going to do uh, those um, bindi design and uh, the eyelashes will create obstacles for me. Now the most interesting part begins here that is the bindi design for that I have applied a red large red bindi on my forehead and I'm applying a white face paint and an eyeliner brush for that design thing and I'm going to fast forward this um, part and I'm going to make it mute and if you are wondering I'm using this powder puff as a shield so that I am not touching my makeup and yeah I'm going to fast forward this part because 
you know i cannot really uh, explain all those steps and if i do not fast forward it the video will be like one hour long and we do not want that As I did not have any red color, I used my uh, Wet n Wild liquid lipstick in Missy and Fierce. and it is done i was so nervous before doing it but now i am well satisfied i'm just curling my natural lashes with this vega eyelash curler and i'm applying a coat of mascara this is my maybelline lash sensational sensational yeah lash sensational mascara for my falsies i'm using this idol uh, 3d fox mink lashes of the camera and this is the complete eye look I'm going to finish my face for that I'm using this Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in 03 Sun Tan and I'm just powder contouring again. That means I'm applying the uh, powder wherever I apply the cream contour. If you do so, your contour will be long lasting and it will be prominent and your face will look more chiseled. For my blush, I'm going to use my Fit Me Blush. I forgot the shade everything will be mentioned in the description bar below so please do check that out and I'm just applying it on my cheeks I'm using this makeup revolution pro illuminate highlighter and I'm just hitting the high four points of my face like my cheekbones chin cupid bow down the bridge of my nose and also the sides of my forehead I'm just setting my entire makeup with my NYX dewy finish makeup setting spray for my lips, first I'm lining my lips uh, with my uh, Wet n Wild uh, Lip Liner in Red The Sin and I'm also going to fill in my lips with the same lip liner. It will make your lipstick long lasting. And for my lipstick I'm using the same Missy and Fierce. This is a stunning red color. And here is the complete look. I truly enjoyed making this video and this was a bit emotional for me i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did then please like the video and please share it with your friends and family and if you are not following me on facebook to instagram and twitter please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar below so please do check that out see you soon in my next video till then bye and take care